Another daily tip. Well, I thought this was gonna be an easy project. Then immediately after starting to dig the trench, it starts to fill with water. And that's less than ideal. So we're not just burying the downspout. We're also gonna add a drainage tile because this yard is far too moist. Digging a 60 foot trench yesterday got to be kind of long. But as you can see, it's literally just mud. There's so much moisture in here. Moisture and basements is not a good combination. Before we run into issues with that, we gotta run this drainage tile. This tile I talk about. What is it? It's a four inch pipe and it's pretty much just gonna suck all the water out of the soil. Then it'll spit it out where I tell it to. All right, let's get a full view of this trench. I started at the house and went all the way to the edge of the hill there. Yeah, all right, I know, it's crooked. Tree roots, rocks, you know the drill. I simply went around the rocks instead of trying to break them up. All right, time for the pipe. This one's perforated. You can see the holes there. That's how the moisture gets inside the pipe to then start flowing. And obviously we can't just throw that in the dirt or it'd get clogged up. So we put a giant sock around it. That will help filter the water before it gets into the pipe so it doesn't clog everything up. And and as expected, just a few minutes in, it already started flowing. Yes, Callan was out here slinging the mud too. This project is far from over. It's still quite a disaster. When you have this kind of moisture in your yard, you need to move it up on the priority list. It's Callan's birthday on Saturday, so I don't see myself getting this done over the weekend.